been a, it's been a pretty nice day for the most part. Yeah, and give God thanks for that, man. I do. It's good. Are you a Christian? I'm a human. And uh, I'm a human too. I believe in uh, you know I believe in whatever makes me happy. Do you think that that's the right way to live? It's working. Do you think that pragmatism is the way to go? Whatever works for us, we do? Well, I think that uh, bringing happiness to others makes me happy. So. Yeah, I study philosophy, so I think about things philosophically. So what you just articulated to me is... It's in uh, the ethics, ethics of philosophy, where we talk about egoism. You live in such a way to please yourself and others as the way of life. It sounds good, but you find yourself in a situation where you can't please everyone, so people will always be unhappy because... You're absolutely right. I deal yeah. with that. All. So, so... I do. So if, if you make one group of people happy, another group will always be unhappy. So it sounds like an unsuccessful way to live. Can't yeah. Please right. But I can be the master of my own universe, and I could make uh, my own path and try to make it as righteous as possible. Yeah, that's that's a good point when you say as righteous as possible. What determines what's righteous and what's not? Success. Success? Success in what? Success in life? Success in whatever my heart tells me to do. If I if I if I set out a goal and I achieve it, then I feel good about it. Do you and think do you think that there's anything after death? Anything after death. Because, because once you are, are successful, successful, you know that whatever you achieve, you're going to die and leave, right? Most certainly. Uh, my uh, thoughts on that is music and uh, what I can leave behind that may be looked at 100 years from now. So, so like, what like happens after father, you die? Like, like what, what happens, happens to you? you? What happens to me? I, I return to the earth. So you don't believe that there's anything after? Well, there might be. There I might mean, not be. I wouldn't there say might there might. I would say there is. is. But I, we're, I we're operating two different perspectives. Honestly, I would have to die to figure that one out. Or I'm, know I'm someone who... Or know someone who has all knowledge, right? Well, only God knows how, has all knowledge. There you go. So... So... That God you're talking about, he revealed all we need to know in a book called the Bible. And that book tells us what happens after we die. Right. That we either separate from God for all eternity or we are united to God for all eternity. One's judgment and one's blessing. Right. Yeah. And I want that for you, man. I want to see you in heaven one day. I'd like to go to heaven one day. I'd like for you to go too, man. You know, have, you, have you ever heard the gospel before? That Christ died for all those who would believe. He was buried. He rose from the grave. You trust in him. You're forgiven of all your sins. You repent of all your sins. Live a life holy. I've heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. Believe it. I've read, I've read a little bit about the Bible. And I've watched the Bible on TV. Uh, times mm -hmm. and the main reason i watched it on the movies was because i'm not a very strong reader yeah and it, it made it easier for me to interpret what was being portrayed and what what was being taught so god, god died f god, god sent his son to die, die for people like you and like, like me i learned how to read when i was when i was 14 i didn't know how to read i was 12 when you learned how to read? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a prolific reader either, but the profession I'm in requires me to read, so I got I kind of have to. Yeah, but I'm glad that you gave me your time, man. 
Well, likewise, I, I, I've been looking for educated, smart people like yourself to talk to. And I'm, I'm glad that you allowed me to share the gospel with you, man, that Christ died for those who believe. It's, it's, it's awesome that you share that with me. I mean, so far, I've went through about 30 different people, and probably five out of 30 people were mean to me for absolutely no reason. One guy was sitting there trying to uh, claim that I was a racist when all I said was, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sit, sitting there, you know, and he's like, he's like, white power and all that. I'm like, no, man. I was like, the only color I see is human. I mean, you're either, you're either good or you're not. Right. 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 You know? and, and that's, that's, and that's the individual's choice. Nobody made them evil but themselves. Right. right. You know, exactly. God, one of the things that God gave us and gave every one of us is choice. Right. right. And, and the man, will to choose what we want, what we, what we desire. desire. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and like, you know, we'll go into the garden for a second. You know, I mean, basically it, it was, here's the fruit. Don't touch the fruit. And the reason why he didn't want us to touch the fruit was because that was giving us a choice. That was like, if you take the fruit, then you're making the choice to make your own decisions and create your own path. And if Adam you, freely you chose to eat the fruit, fruit and, and now we're here. Him, if you leave the fruit alone, you can stay in the garden forever. You know, and we didn't know we were naked until we ate the fruit. Right. <laughs> you know. And, and since so we're all born, born in sin, shaped in iniquity, and all of us can be saved. We trust in Him, repent of our sins. That's the proclamation that we got to give, including you. When you become a Christian, you preach this message to everyone you know. And you let him know. I battle with it. I ain't gonna lie. I battle with it. I've experienced a lot of loss, and uh, it's just been really, really tough. And to try to try to stay with the Bible and try to get into it, I, I really do battle with it. I don't disbelieve. I'm not against it. I'm just working it out. You know. What I'll do is I'll I'll recommend a book for you in the Bible, the Book of Romans. Romans. Okay, I've heard of this book. Read, read that. that. It has 16, 16 chapters. You can read two, two chapters, chapters a day and get through it in like under two weeks. weeks. And pray to God before you read it that he will open your eyes to understand and to receive his word. That's my recommendation. And you're, you're B, right? B or Ben? I'm Bob. Bob. Nice, nice to meet you, Bob. Bob. I'm yeah. Everton. Thanks, Thanks for your time, time man. man. Pleasure to meet you, man. And God, God bless you. you. God bless you. Have... Oh, oh, no, I skipped, skipped him too suddenly. Oh, boy, I was going to say have a good night or have a good day.